Hello students, how are you? Welcome you all. So today we are going to learn something about mixture and solutions. So let me first talk about mixture. What is mixture? Mixture is a combination of two substances and it is not losing its property and no new substance is formed. Okay. And if you talk about compound, compound is what? It is also the same combination of two substances. Okay. But they lose their property and a new substance is formed with a new property. And what is solution? Solution is the mixture of two substances. One is solute, another is solvent. When solute and solvent mix together to form a solution. Okay, so that is solution. We'll come to the solution later on. First, we are going to mixture. Okay, so mixture is of two types. One is homogeneous, another is heterogeneous. Okay, so what is homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture means when two substances mixed together okay in a definite proportion okay that is known as homogeneous mixture so let's take an example i have 25 erasers and 25 sharpeners with me now i want to mix them together in this box okay so how i will mix it i will mix them together okay now they will mix in two different ways okay the first things you just see i'm mix mixing them okay e for eraser and as for sharpener okay so we are mixing the e, uh, eraser and sharpener together okay and now you can see that how they are mixed if you take out any part of this box then what we will find we will find that both eraser and sharpener will come together okay in a definite proportion suppose in this portion i have taken okay e and s this portion i have taken here 2e and 2s are there that means two eraser and two sharpener. Okay, the same same portion. If I take it from other other portion, other part of this box. Okay, there are, there also I will get two eraser and two sharpener. If any other portion, if I take, okay, there also you will get two eraser and two sharpener. Okay, if I reduce the amount, then I I will get one eraser and one sharpener. Okay, that means they are we are getting it in a same proportion. Okay, wherever I will uh, take. I will get the same proportion okay same is the case of okay if i take a glass of water okay and i add salt in it let's take another example okay for that we need one glass glass of water okay water is also needed and little amount of salt you can see the salt okay now i will add one spoon of salt into this water okay and then mix it okay you can try it at your home okay and now from this glass of uh, salt water okay what you will find okay if you take this portion of water or this portion of water or this portion of water any portion of water if you take then what you will find you will find the same amount of salt okay you will find it salty if you taste it you will find it salty okay why it is salty because the salt is present thoroughly in this water okay it is distributed equally in every parts of the water so that's why this mixing of salt in water in a definite proportion is a homogeneous mixture. This is also a mixture. This is known as homogeneous mixture. When two compounds mix together in a definite proportion, okay, then it is known as homogeneous mixture. Okay. And the reverse of it that when the two substance does not mix it in a definite proportion, they are haphazardly mixed in any manner. That mixture is known as heterogeneous mixture. Okay. Now, if I take this previous example, rubber and sharpener, if I mix them together, then you will find that if I mix them haphazardly, randomly, if I mix them, okay, now I'm mixing them randomly, okay, now from this portion, if I collect, then here you will find three erasers, two sharpeners, okay, if I collect it from this portion, then you will find two eraser, three sharpener, okay, one eraser, five sharpener, okay, like this different different proportion you are getting not the same not the equal thing you are getting okay and this type of mixture is known as heterogeneous mixture like if i take an example another example for that also we need a glass water okay and then i have to add soil okay so what you will get if i add soil then it will mix the soil the mac the heavier particles will settle down at the bottom the lighter particles will mix in the water okay then from the bottom if you take out the water then you will find more more soil particles okay from the above if you take out water then you will find less soil particles okay so that means the soil is unevenly distributed in the water okay that type of mixture is known as heterogeneous mixture so have you understood what is mixture 
homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture okay okay, okay. we can mix two things together okay like we know matter solid liquid and gas okay this type of substance we can mix them together uh, mix and match okay we can make different kinds of mixtures okay like if i make mixture of solid and solid okay solid and solid two types of mixture we can make one is homogeneous one is heterogeneous if i talk about homogeneous mixture of solid and solid substance okay if i take two solid substance together okay and mix them in a homogeneous way okay then uh, what you will get okay so you have come across uh, the term known as alloys so if you talk about alloy alloy is the homogeneous mixture of two solid substance okay so let me take the example of uh, an alloy okay that is brass brass is made up of two substance copper and zinc okay so it is a mixture not the compound okay it is not chemically mixed together okay so brass is a alloy of copper and zinc okay when copper and zinc mix together in a homogeneous way okay make a homogeneous mixture then it makes an alloy of alloy known as brass okay likewise if i talk about a heterogeneous mixture of solid and solid substance okay you take salt and soil and mix them together okay it will become a heterogeneous mixture of two solid substance okay now if i talk about mixture of solid and liquid homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture already i have shown you if you mix two substance one is solid and one is liquid like water and salt when the, when you mix together okay then it will become a homogeneous mixture of two substance of solid and liquid okay if you mix water and sand okay it will become a heterogeneous mixture of solid and liquid now if i talk about the mixture of solid and gas smoke is the mixture of solid and gas now you can see i have a scented sticks okay if you burn the scented sticks from the scented sticks some Uh, smokes are coming out okay these smokes are the mixture of solid and gaseous particles okay now if i talk about uh, liquid and uh, liquid mixture of liquid and liquid okay now i have two substance two liquids okay one is water another is vinegar okay vinegar is a liquid which we use for cooking purpose okay so now if i add vinegar into the water okay now mix it thoroughly you will find it it has become a mixture and it has become a homogeneous mixture now if i talk about mixture of liquid and gas i will find mixture of liquid and gas see this how do you find it out this is coca cola or pepsi you can say okay when you open the bottle what you find some gas is coming out why it is so because that gas is mixed in the water okay so it is a mixture of liquid and gas okay now if you talk about mixture of two gaseous substance what is that can you tell me mixture of two or more gaseous substance okay definitely i know that you know it okay what is that it is yeah that is a few are present okay it is a mixture of many different kinds of gas okay so this is a mixture of gas this is not, this is not the this is, they are not chemically mixed they are physically mixed together okay and this mixture can be separated by means of physical methods okay so this is all about mixtures okay now if we talk about solution okay solution means what when two substance dissolve together okay one substance is known as solute another substance is known as solvent okay now i have a glass and i have taken one solvent that solvent is known as water okay and i have taken this this is salt this is known as solute okay now if we add this solute in this solvent and i will stir it okay it will mixed so after mixing what you will find you will find a solution of salt and water so this is the solution of salt and water okay where water is the solvent and salt is the solute okay now we can make many solutions like that okay in water so that's why water is known as the universal solvent why because water can dissolve many substance like salt like sugar like soil
like sand. Like floor. So many substance can be dissolved in water. So that's why water is known as the universal solvent. Okay. So when two substance, solute and solvent mix together, they are known as solution. So have you understood? I hope you have understood. Okay. And whatever the experiments I have done it. Okay. You can try it at your home and you will find very interesting. Okay. So I have brought the things. Okay. That is easily available at my home. Okay. You can find the things that is easily available at your home. Okay. No need to go out. No need to uh, purchase anything. No need to waste your money on any items. Okay. You can do it. Whatever is available at your home. So enjoy and have a good day. Thank you.